If you don't take reality for granted at all, any of the time, then whatever is in front of you is absolutely miraculous, particularly natural beauty. It really affects me very deeply looking at the beauty of it all. If you look at a plant, you're not just looking at a plant, you're looking at life and the creation of life. If you study something really, really thoroughly, what happens is you know it intimately and you fall in love with it. Everything has a, a strange beauty to it, if you have the right way of looking. <laughs> when I look at the feather, I see that incredible design, that shape, that pattern, that movement, that flow of life force, that connection that flows through all things. The human species is in chaos. We've lost a sense of balance and beauty and kindness. And that's because we've lost our connection to, to the natural world and the natural order of things. You have to look deeper, and I think that that gives you a, a better sense of an appreciation. You start to see not things in isolation, but things as connected. Well, when I look at a bird now, I don't just see an animal on a branch. I see an ecosystem that's supporting that branch and that bird really see it for what it is and marvel at its evolution. Because then you get to see its place in the bigger world. Through understanding and having a reverence for our natural world and the understanding its wisdom and its genius, you realize your place. We're only a very small part of something much bigger. And that's what makes you feel like you belong here. Nature feels like a portal to me. When I'm in nature, I, I get the sense of falling through into another place, a more profound and beautiful place. What I move towards is this sense of wonder in the beauty. And that sense of wonder is what inspires me. I'm inspired by these, these creatures and I think that to look at them and to try and connect with them, try to get closer to them through sculpting them, through drawing them, you start to see deeper into what they are. I've completely fallen in love with reality. Everything you see all the time could be used in a painting or in a story or in a song. 
the idea that I was trying to somehow match that or somehow capture it in a realistic way is too absurd to contemplate. I feel this, this urge that I have to express my appreciation for the miracle. Trying to paint something that you find really beautiful. It is the most creative thing that I can do to express my thanks for what I see in front of me. It's a visual demonstration of my connection to the earth. And you feel obliged to do it justice. The closer you get to the core of the natural world, the less sense language makes. That's when it's time to be quiet. If you are quiet long enough, you can fall through into a, a very profound relationship with the natural world. Just listen, watch, see the wind moving through the branches. That feeds me. And we really, really need those quiet spaces and those natural sounds. It's for our own preservation, if not everything else. And when we start to see the value in that, then I think that things can really change. An ideal place is where we are in harmony, all things around us. It's a magical planet. It's a place of incredible diversity. And if we tap into that, we are filled with it. And from that place, you are strengthened. And from that place, you are kinder. And from that place, you're a better person for yourself and for others. There's a vast, vast treasure trove of reality and nature and gorgeous moments. All the minutia of interaction, you know, it's all the little, the tiny moments. It's crucial that you do whatever it takes to keep those moments coming. It's my greatest pleasure to see things. The world that I dream of is the one that we've got because I think it's absolutely incredible. I'm dying for everybody to see what I see because it's so wonderful. It's what makes life worth living. Thanks to all of you who helped make this film possible. All of our films are totally crowdfunded. So if you'd like to continue to support us on our journey, check out our Green Renaissance page on Patreon.